Shashilga Court, apartments and offices, standing tall at the Jai district of the Federal Capital Territory, tall also in power theft. Using the language of today, this is the coronavirus of the power sector, theft of energy. Probably Shashilga Court is among those raining abuses on the nation's power sector for non-performance. But it is the culprit. This entire complex and beyond is bypassed. Pay no electricity bill for only God knows since when. The cables have been compromised, load has been bypassed, including a whole unit right inside the feeder pillar here, which is the three phases diverted to a different area. And this is quite unfortunate. Neck has said when you find a situation like this, you are allowed to back bill for six months. But unfortunately, we don't even know for how long this one has been happening. Probably may, be happening, may have been happening for about a year. So we have back billed them for at least six months, and that's coming to, because we have lost about 270,000 units, that's coming to about 18 million. No one was on ground to speak in defense, apart from the staff who are even struggling to hide the identities. DNL Motors in Jabi was another crime scene, as it were. ADC staff were denied entrance initially. But when finally gained entrance, it was a near perfect crime. But the AEDC technicians brought the expertise to uncover the illegality. There's an auto repair company there, manned by some Chinese people. There is a, also a hotel there, and then there is a residential apartment. There are about six meters there. Five of them we are compromised, the sixth one is intact, that one is okay. So we have been losing a lot of revenue. But one thing is clear, we are ready to fight this to the last, using legal means. For AEDC, Shashilga Court and DNL Motors are just 0.09% of those involved in such illegal practice. And more of such routine checks will be on daily basis. Mie Okede, NT News.